Waters here at the 2013 Glendale Chocolate Affair, and we are at the Plein Air Competition. This is a painting competition. Joining us right now is Martin Dickey. He is the manager of the City of Glendale's Office of Special Events. Tell us about this competition. What is it all about? Well, a few years ago, we got together with the Glendale Art Program and wanted to bring another element to the festival that was kind of a, an attraction, but something that we didn't normally see here. And they suggested Plain Air, and it's got an incredible following, and this is our fourth year. And it's so exciting to see the people out in the park among the attendees, actually painting historic structures or activities or people. It's a neat uh, element to the event. So you had some special judges today. I did. Tell me about the special judges. Well, they, uh, we were lucky enough to get uh, Mayor and Council to join us to uh, start the Council Choice Best of Show Award. And it's the first time ever, and we're really excited to have that element because the artists are so excited to get that level of recognition. It looked like that, um, this is the first time we've had this, as you said, and it looked like that the mayor and council had a little bit of challenge. It was not easy for them. I'm not surprised, are you? I'm not. There's some great works, and I think they took it very seriously and wanted to be sure that, you know, for the first inaugural, that they did a really thorough job of evaluating the works, and it was tough. It's really neat on the artistic abilities uh, that these folks have that I certainly don't, and, uh, and, and the fact of the time that they get them done, I mean, very, very short time, some of the detail is just incredible. For best of show, we have Alex Pecala, and that's number 16. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I'm lucky if I can keep within the lines when I color. This is truly, truly a gift to be able to relay what's in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, onto whatever medium, whether it's canvas, uh, either it's mural, in this case it is canvases, but the different types of uh, mediums they're using is absolutely incredible. And, and I really enjoy it, and there was, uh, I think what several people said, it's tough to choose. There was, you know, I got it down to about 10, and then it was like, done down to five, and then down to three, and then and as you can tell, the, 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 the judges, you know, we ended up with a tie. That's not how we're gonna be doing council, but. It, it was fun, but it, it was a difficult choice. And, and you saw us, and maybe the other council members talked about it. We were split. And then we brought our wives and we were split again. We had a hard time uh, selecting number one. What do you think overall this means by bringing art to a festival here in the downtown? Well, I look at it from a couple of different perspectives. One is it's so exciting for the Glendale Arts Program to have access to this type of exposure because so many people find out what they're about. And then from the attendee point of view, the attendees get to see people painting and how it works and the mistakes and the directions that they change as they're doing their work. And it's such an education for the attendees. I'm so glad it's here and it's very neat that it's already in its fourth year.